Hi, welcome to this video on understanding solar air heaters. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better, more sustainable world. So please do subscribe to the channel. In our previous video, it was demonstrated how one can make a cheap and easy solar air heater. In this video, we will try to explain what are the best practices for making an efficient solar air heater. Solar air heaters are a very cost-effective way of achieving heating and ventilation. With so many packaging materials ending up in the waste, it is very easy to make a solar air heater almost free of cost. To make a heater that is efficient, one has to understand the mechanism which we will try to explain in this video. There are many designs for solar air heaters available on the internet. Many of them employ use tin cans for creating absorber pipes. The advantage of using tin cans is twofold. Firstly, they are readily available and secondly, their wall thickness is small. This means that the air inside can get hot efficiently. There are three basic components of a solar air heater. They are the absorber, the transparent cover and the enclosure. The absorber needs to be of dark color to soak up most of the radiation it receives. You can use matte black spray paint for this purpose. A shiny black paint will have the tendency to reflect part of the radiation. The layer of paint needs to be thin, otherwise it will become a barrier for the heat to flow into the absorber section. The absorber pipe is usually metallic which allows it to transfer heat effectively to the air on the inside of the pipe. If you have copper tubing lying around, you can make the absorber pipes out of that. You can also place copper pipe on a metal plate and paint that black to enhance the area of the absorber section. The longer the absorber pipes, the more will the temperature be of the air at the outlet. The second segment of solar air heater is the transparent cover. The ideal choice for a transparent cover is the low iron glass. This type of glass allows most radiation through it and is everlasting unless broken. One can also use transparent plastic sheets or plexiglass. However, plastic cover has a tendency of getting hazy over time. The transparent cover serves two purposes. Number one, it allows more solar radiation inside and secondly, it also blocks heat from getting away through greenhouse effect. Thus, the glass cover acts as a blanket for the absorber pipes which can get really hot. It has been reported that the distance between the absorber plate and the transparent cover should be around 1 inch or 25 millimeter for best results. The enclosure around the absorber pipes provides structural stability and protects the pipes from the elements. It also provides thermal insulation and blocks the heat from escaping through the backside. One can place a layer of newspaper, loft insulation or any kind of foam in between the enclosure and the absorber pipe to increase the efficacy of the system. For a solar air heater, there is a slot cut out at the bottom of the enclosure to allow the air to come in. You can also attach an air duct from your house to this inlet of the heater. This will recirculate the air that was already inside your house and make it warmer. A solar air heater works best when placed at the right angle and is in direct sun. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned from it, do give it a thumbs up. Add your own design ideas in the comment section and go ahead, try making a solar air heater at home. Tap into the plentiful and free solar energy today. Once again, thank you for your attention.